we're, we're in Minneapolis okay. and I'll be spending the next few days, I hope at least, competing in the Viking Backgammon Classic. There are four divisions, including the open players, aka the best in the room, advanced, intermediate, and beginner. After playing a novice in Chicago, I'll be calling intermediate my home this weekend and I'll be throwing it down with 16 other players for what will be a fun-filled and eventful few days. The competition is fierce. Down and, uh, to the wire. It was so down to the wire. <laughs> the rewards are epic. And the friendships are priceless. <laughs> yeah. Let's roll some dice. Just got to the hotel room, got all checked in and ready to go. We're about to start in a half hour. And the nerves are, like the camera's shaking right now. It's just like, uh, just like Chicago. And it's surprising how nervous you get. You play a bunch of m matches and you're just still nervous all the time. It's crazy, I gotta take Keen's advice. Nope, it's just another match, another game. So, report back soon. I found somebody. Everybody's swooping up to do their uh, to do their drawings, and uh, so we're just kind of chilling back here. James and I are in the same uh, same division. From the, yeah. we met in Madison. Yeah, yeah. So we're excited for this one. We're in the same division. You got your opponent. I got mine. I don't know. We neither of us know who's who. I have no idea. Are you nervous at all? I'm. S I'm gonna act like I've been there before. You I'm, know. I'm very nervous. I'm not gonna. Lie. I'm a little nervous. Yeah. Again, hopefully so. we're playing in the, the finals, just the two of us. Yeah, just I the think two that would be good. <laughs> just the two of us. The right. tournament format is triple elimination, meaning you have three lives or three losses that you can have before you're knocked out of the tournament. Clocks are preferred but not required, meaning if one person wants to use a clock, then it has to be used. It's a seven-point main meaning you play seven point matches in the main, and if you get knocked out of the main, that's one life or one loss gone. Then you play five point matches in the fighter brackets. If you lose your five point matches, then your second life is gone and you're on to consolation, which is three point matches. Once you lose consolation, you're out of the tournament. I'm here with Rick. We just finished our first match. Rick got the win. It was a, it was a really fun game, and this is your first tournament, right? It is. And how long have you been playing? Uh, about two years ago, I started with XG, and yeah. then in January, I started playing in our local club. Awesome. As you just saw, I just, uh, was just chatting with Rick, great guy. Uh, that was a really fun match. Man, the jitters when you first start playing are really, really tough. Like, I feel like the first game, probably the first two games, like, I was like, <laughs> just panicking. The biggest takeaway, I think, from that was uh, I need to learn how to not only play back games, but to play, uh, to, to double and when to take on that. There's a back game going on. He had uh, six checkers in my home board on my three and five point, and I ended up doubling. And I knew there was gonna be some weird numbers, and uh, because of that double is what I ended up losing. So I took a picture of it, because I'm really curious how, uh, how I have to play that. James, up, you just guys? won, correct? I did. Which on my I'm, first match. I'm glad he won because if he would have lost, I would have had to play him and then Team Wisconsin <laughs> would have been out already. Yeah. There's, and you can't been, be having that. Now. You can't no. be having that. So now I still have a chance to, to meet you in the finals. Yeah. You can be. Why on YouTube? Now you are. There you I'm go. on YouTube. Oh, Clark. <laughs> Clark. <laughs> yeah, guys, I'm feeling pretty good. You know? Yeah. This is when you cut to after this next match. And I'm like, yeah, it goes Yeah. <laughs> a few moments later. Didn't go as planned. Didn't go as planned. Didn't go as planned, you guys. <laughs> so it was four, you got a 4-0, right? I had a 4-0 lead. And then I think he he doubled and then gammoned me to even it out. Yeah. Dice just weren't going my way. The table was an odd position. Yep. Uh, you know, I couldn't get situated and comfortable. Yep, so, yep. I, I mean, that table was rough. That's where yeah. I was, too. Yeah, it's a rough table. For Rick sure. is rolling the Wisconsinites. <laughs> Rick is one of the, yeah. <laughs> yeah dude. <laughs> Literally rolling. Yeah. yeah. Any any yeah. positions that really like came to came to mind? <clears throat> so he um, he offered me a double in a questionable holding game. Sure. And all of his uh, all of his points in the outer field were stripped, and I took based on that alone. And then what happened was. That did go according 
to plan. So um, he ended up giving me two shots at basically, I had to roll a two or a three to hit him back, and I had a fully blocked out board. Yeah. And I couldn't roll a two or a three. Mm. That's how it that's, happens. It's that simple. Yeah, that's how it happens. Backgammon, that, man. Yep. It's a and cruel then, game. be the only time you see Briley. We'll see. I'm not sure. She's very busy. You can hear the little one in the background. But we just got to show some of the best parts about doing backgammon is, is not only playing, but it's the company and the delicious food. You guys are going to be in this. Sorry. I didn't give you any warning. We can do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's I feel like it's tradition at this point to check in with the uh, sunset uh, after dinner, the after dinner check in. Really awesome sunset going on back there it is so hard to play in a tournament and to film so uh, unfortunately this video is going to be a lot of vlogging and a lot of people talking and probably not a ton a ton of me playing backgammon just because it's it's very difficult right now we're on dinner break uh for another probably 45 minutes and i'm currently playing uh donna and it's 2-2 in a five point match so hoping it goes well uh, there was a cube that came my way that uh, it could have been really good for me But there's just too many chances for him to close the board out and uh, Probably get a gammon and that's the end of it. So I passed the cube. We're currently 2-2 in our five-point match Just there's just so many cool people uh, I've talked to several today that have reached out first tournaments again It's been a lot of that people going to their first tournaments and it's just so cool like if you haven't gone to your first tournament uh, or if you haven't been to one in a while, highly recommend it. Uh, they're just fun, and the friends you make are just, it's, I just can't say enough about it. All right, back to where we started the day at uh, the elevator room here. It was uh, some good matches today. Ended up three and two last time I checked in. I was about to play Bridget. Uh, I won that match. It's one of those matches where you kind of feel bad though. Um, Bridget was playing phenomenally, but she was just getting all these anti-jokers. Uh, that were just destroying her home board. And it was just a bummer. So it's one of those wins where you get it and it's just like, okay, I, I'll take the win, but it's, you feel bad about it, but Bridget was super nice, uh, very fun to play with. Uh, we were chatting a little bit and uh, it's a very nice person. After Bridget, I played Phil. What do you think about the match, Phil? Uh, it was very close. Um, mm -hmm. And again, in backgammon, Things can go either way. Yes. And yes. and uh, in the last game, they went my way, and yeah. I'm able to close you out. Yep. And get a gammon. First match against or game against Phil was pretty like your typical backgammon game. Nothing too crazy there. The second one though, um, he cubed me. I took, and he basically had me in a place where he's going to gammon me. My only hope is I had um, a holding game on his one point. And uh, he had six checkers left, I think. Some, something around there. And he left me a shot uh, and I hit. And uh, I was able to bring it back around. I re-cubed him and he dropped. So we ended up being 2-2 there. This was in a five point match. And then uh, we were playing again and he cubed me. He was in kind of a blitz position. Uh, that was for the match. So he, he pulled out the win. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, so James is still alive. Uh, in the main, or the, the fighters bracket, and if he wins tomorrow, I believe he has to win two more, and then he could play uh, Phil. And if he loses tomorrow, then he plays me. So I play the loser of the game that, uh, or the match that James is going to play in. So. So I'm here with Dimitri. We're both waiting for the uh, the doors to open. We got like probably about 45 minutes or so before we can go in there. Yes, some of it. You're uh, you're, you're grandmaster, right? Yes. Yeah, which is awesome. There's how many? Is there three levels to each ranking system? There, uh, there, 
it's a bit more complicated, yeah, but it's, it's something like that. So there are like uh, three super grandmasters, levels of super grandmasters, three, actually four level, levels of uh, grandmasters, I think. Nice. Nice, and you're, yes. you're playing in the Open today? I'm playing in the Open. Or this weekend, I should say. And currently undefeated, which is awesome. I know you said you're only two in, but still. Two yeah, I got a I got a buy in the first round, so uh, that's always helpful. So I'm three, basically I'm three, uh, like it's like three wins here. Yeah, cool. So obviously you're hoping to win, but any goals for the weekend? Uh, my goal is to play well yeah. in every match, and then if I if I can win, that's good. If, I, if not, not a big deal. Wow. You just wanted to play me, didn't you? I know this guy. Yep. We're playing now. This guy. Are we really? Yeah, we are. Consolation? Yeah. Yeah, the loser of this match Let's plays go. me. How'd it go? Obviously, not the way you wanted it to. Not the way, yeah. Didn't go as planned, guys. What, what happened? Like, what the, just any, um, any big things or just the dice weren't in your favor? Um, nothing huge. The, the deciding factor, so he cubed me. Um, on a very close race, so it's either I take my chances in a close race, or I go into a Crawford match four to one, or one to, one to four. Sure. So I decided to take the cube. It was a questionable decision. Maybe I know that just feeling. my impatience. I know that feeling. Uh, contributed. That's yeah. what knocked me out of the fighters bracket last night. Yeah. Uh, impatience. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, I wasn't about to go into a Crawford and then, you know, win at least two or three after that. So. Sure. Um, decided to take a questionable race, and I lost. Is it double elimination again? In no, I think this is it. You lose your eyes. I think so, unfortunately. That's why I'm like, not oh, like this. Man. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, uh. little butterfly anchor, if you will. There you go. Just because gammons are so scary, I think I need to try and live to fight another day. All right, I'll cube. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm just going to pass. Okay. Good game. Likewise, I need to do a lot of research with cubing. All right, I'll take, let's make it interesting. All right. This adds like 10 times more stress, I must say. <laughs> I know we're just using it for turn keeping, but I'm just like, ah! I need to play with the clock more. Good match. Good, Good match. James and I just finished Constellation. It was bittersweet. Bittersweet was, for sure. It was very bittersweet. This morning when I knew I had a chance to actually like make the final, I, yeah. so if I would have won two in a row, I would have been in the final. And uh, just like preparing for mm -hmm. that first game this morning was a little more stressful than it usually is. You know, a lot of people don't talk about, like it's a, it's a, it's a, a lot of mental work. Yes. It's, it's a grind. A full, you know, yesterday was what almost almost ten hours in mm -hmm. backgammon. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, you think well, it's like, like yeah, about eight hours. It's like a full work day of backgammon. Exactly. How how do you feel like the weekend went as far as just as a whole? You know, it went really well. I I'm I'm happy with how I played for the yeah. most part. So what are your what are your goals though? What are, what are, like goals? for the next year or so? What do, what's your plans? Um, you know, just keep playing. Keep playing backgammon, having fun, going to the club a lot more often. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out Milwaukee Backgammon Club, those guys are awesome. They've taught me a lot. First off, good match. Good match, yeah. yeah. It's always more fun when you make a comeback. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> good luck. I might need it at this point. <laughs> that was That's yeah. the heart pump fiddle. Yeah. Good game, good, good game, game, sir. Good game. That was a pleasure. All right, that does it for me. Just played probably my favorite favorite match of the weekend, actually. We had two intense running games. Yeah, yeah. Um, what was your favorite part of that match? <sighs> probably coming back after that uh, Crawford there. And straight to 2 0. Straight to 2 0. You doubled that's, on the first yes, one. Yes, that's what it was. Um, and you got the race on that one. Yep, so then straight to Crawford. Um, and then. And yeah, then I barely prevented the gammon, I feel, on the first one. Yes, yes. Uh, we went to the second one, which was the race. An intense race, intense yes. race, barely got there. I remember. And then this last yeah. one was the same thing. Like yeah. You set yourself yeah. up good with the race. Down and, uh, to the wire. It was so down to the wire. <laughs> it, was, it was one of those games that, like, is just plain fun. Obviously very stressful at the same time. Yeah, yeah. But the heart pounding. Exactly. Races. My ears were so red and warm, I could just feel them. 
But yeah, that was probably my favorite match of the weekend. So I'm glad <laughs> I got one. to go out on that one, actually. Okay. How do you feel like it went overall so far? Overall, I feel event. like it went yeah. really well. I mean, we're super happy with it. Um, we do a lot of pre-planning. We spend a year on this pre-planning and imagining how it's going to go. And it, it it went really well. So anybody who's thinking of ten attending their first tournament, whether it's Viking Classic like next year or just in general, do you have any like tips or advice or like just anything to say to them? Just jump in. Just Ultimately, just be there, you yeah. know? <laughs> you know, you'll... We, we have ambassadors here that are designated to help shepherd new players into the tournament experience. Mm-hmm. And we do everything that we can to, uh, you know, we had a beginner's tournament for people where there was no doubling food, it was just moving the checkers. Yep. And they were super passionate and excited about that event. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we will help you. It, it doesn't have to be scary. Exactly. We don't want people to be intimidated. We want people to be as comfortable as possible. Yeah, but we and understand it is intimidating. I can finally take a breather. That is a wrap on the Viking Classic. So I ended up going 4-3 on the weekend. And, you know, I've said this before. I'll, I'll say it again. Um, backgammon is so much fun. But the best part of these tournaments are the people. It's it's meeting new, new people, making new friends, hanging out with old friends, and uh, just deepening that relationship. And just like like Michael said it becomes a family reunion so it, it's so cool to you know hi how's it going and you give people hugs that you you've met at other tournaments James is a great example of this we met in Madison at the uh, Wisconsin State Backgammon Championship and uh, he ended up coming here and uh, we ended up chatting the whole weekend uh, grabbed dinner which was awesome and just got to know each other more and I maybe mean, we both live in Wisconsin so now you know we exchanged numbers and now we're talking about you know meeting up every once in a while to play some uh, backgammon matches and and learn and grow together I mean what more could you ask for and that wouldn't have happened if I hadn't gone to tournaments so it's just a great place to to make friends to even if you're not playing like the atmosphere is cool and there's always other games going on on the side shoeettes so multiplayer backgammon um, whether you're watching you're learning you're playing it's just all good and and it's just a fun time. It's It really feels like vacation in a way. Granted, it's a stressful vacation, <laughs> but in a good way, it's, it's really fun. Our next tournament's going to be Jamaica, which is super fun, not playing in that one, but we're gonna be doing a ton of uh, video production, Brian and I, uh, along with Nick Blazier, and uh, be doing some streaming work with uh, Andy. And uh, until the next one, take care.